Noel Akam, the Thomas McEwen, Jared Rose are at Jennings High School with Travis Etienne, who was the 3A Offensive uh, Player of the Year uh, this past season. Rushed for 2,938 yards, and we just, I told you I was going to mess with you about you couldn't get to that 3,000. What's the deal? And you said people mess with you about that a lot. What's, what, uh, what do you hear about that? What, what are kind of some of the, the little playful... You got that close, but but couldn't quite get the three thousand type jokes. Oh, it, it's a lot of them, but uh, it's my fault. I had, I had one bad game. I think I only rushed for like a hundred and fifty some yards. Uh, but that just gives me motivation to get the three thousand next year. Uh, just just to point that out, he just said his hundred and fifty seven yard game was was his bad game. I don't think anybody's faulting you for twenty nine. <laughs> I know coaches isn't faulting you for twenty nine hundred yards. Um, Coach Phelps, when we were just talking, said that he knew from from maybe your first cut as a freshman when you first got a chance to do some varsity things from that freshman team, he knew you were going to have a chance to be a pretty special player here. When did you kind of realize that you were going to have a chance to do some some big things here, maybe have an opportunity even after Jennings and stuff like that? Uh, sort, of, sort of the same the same time. Uh, like When I first got in, they told me to get in. I got in. First play, I only got like a yard or so. Then I was fun with the ball because I tried to cut back like a freshman. And so I got on the sideline. Everyone's talking to me like, just keep your head up. You're going to do bigger things. And next time I got the ball, I went for a touchdown. Then I got it again. Third time I got it, I went for another touchdown. So that's kind of when I knew that I, I had it in me. I just had to keep working, keep pushing, and get better. Don't be passive with, with where you're at. But uh, just keep pushing forward. What's it been like to go from that young guy, ninth grader, starting to, to finally get those, those first opportunities uh, later in the year to where you are now to, to start being one of the, I mean, the, one of the state's top running backs? Coach said, he, you know, he, he admits he's a little biased, but he thinks you're the best running back in the state. What's that process been like to just kind of grow up and, uh, and, and get that much stronger, better, any of those things would have been some of the biggest areas that you felt good about your growth the last two, two and a half years? It's kind of been overwhelming. I just, like, over the past year, I've just gotten bigger. From my freshman year, I went from 148 to 187. Then I went from 187 to 196. So I've just been getting bigger and getting bigger and faster and stronger, just maintaining my speed and everything and just – from being a freshman to where everyone tells you what to do and to growing into the leader, it it, it kind of takes a toll on you because, like, you don't see yourself as a leader, but everyone else does. So you just have to lead by example. And you, um, you didn't realize you were having quite the type of season that you ended up having, at least how big those numbers had gotten until af- after the fact. And you end up setting a single-season rushing record over here. Uh, and I mean, you weren't the only back in the backfield taking carries. You you end up 19 carries a yard, averaging about 270 a game. When was the first time someone said, "Hey, Travis, you just set the the Jennings record, or or you just did this, or you just did that"? That it kind of started to to kind of snap into focus that you had done those type of things. It had been that type of a year. Uh, it, it was the Iowa game. I think it's like the second to last game. Of the season, where like the first time I got the ball of the game, I scored a touchdown, and then they're announcing that I set the single rushing record on the on the whole field. Every everybody just coming up to me, shaking my hands, and just that, that that's when it hit me. Like I've done something that no one has done in the past 23 years. Yeah. Um, some of the colleges started recognizing. It. I mean, that's. It's it was tough to to not see some of the things you were doing, I guess, because you started to gain a lot of attention around the state with a lot of the high school coaches and fans and stuff like that. And it, so the colleges start getting a little bit of a sense of it. You end up getting four offers uh, here in the last last month or two, um, and it was what UL, McNeese, ULM, and Northwestern State. Yes, sir. What were those like to start to see? Oh no, not not UL, uh, South Alabama. South Alabama, right. Um, and what was it like to see some of those opportunities start to open up to say, you know, I'm doing some big things at Jennings, not done here yet, but I might have an opportunity to go play another four years afterward and have college paid for and all those things. 
uh, don't just don't get away from what you've been doing to get to this point. Just keep doing it and know that when y'all throwing the field, everybody's coming for you because you're the best. And like, to in order to be the best, you have to be the best. And I just keep that mentality ahead, and I just keep it in mind. So when I'm working, there's always somebody working hard on you. So just give that extra rep, those extra reps, and just keep working. And a lot of other schools have also paid some attention. UL has been one of the ones that has shown some attention. Louisiana Tech, Tulane, LSU, that, you, that you've got the uh, the lanyard there. Um, you mentioned Harvard, Yale, Florida State, Purdue, and, and the list kind of mm -hmm. keeps going on. Um, what's it been like to start hearing from more and more schools and, and just realize that, that you're, you're kind of becoming that, that type of a guy that, that all these schools are interested in, in coming to play there? And what are some of the things that they've told you too? Uh, they, they 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 tell you what you want to hear basically, but it, it's not really overwhelming because I kind of know where I want to go. I kind of know where I want to go to school, and I kind of had it all figured out before it even happened. Like as a kid, I set the goal for me to go to this college. So yeah, I kind of really know where I want to go. Do you want to say who it is? Is it around? Is it around your neck right now? No. <laughs> no. You grew up liking somebody else, but you want to keep that kind of quiet yeah, right Yeah, keep it. The people yeah. I really like, they really are recruiting me, really, basically. Yeah. Um, and I guess also kind of taking it back, as you mentioned, always having liked a, a certain school. Grandma takes, I guess, a little bit of credit for, for getting you to where you are today, just from those early days. What what has been kind of the, the little story you've heard from when you were a very, a very young kid that, that kind of got you into football and and started in a in a kind of a silly way, started developing a little bit of the skills. Uh, she always told me, like, she always told me, she used to throw me the ball until I start throwing too hard. That's one of the stories she told me. And the second one is that she thinks I'm a mama boy, so my mom would have to leave and I like, go to the store and get some groceries or something. They'd have to, like, throw me the football into the room and make me stay in the room until my mom leaves. And then I'd try to chase it with the football in my hand. So you'd be you'd be chasing her like out the house or like all the way down the street. Yeah, like like she say I she say I was like run run just run a couple of like little laps like until I just realized that she's too far. Yeah. Um, and then big sis is is on the the table behind us with a state championship and yeah. coach said he kind of uh, puts that out there as as a motivation that you need to to kind of follow her lead to get up there. Um, what did what did she mean and some of the success that she had mean and, and you mentioned I mean having a lot of family members that have had some success and what it's been like to to come behind some of those folks and some of the support they've shown you what's uh what's some of that been like yeah because like my mom and my sister they both won a state championship in basketball so that's kind of been shadowing me the whole time and my dad made it to the fourth round so that's like it kind of been shadowing me to get there to get where they were. Mm -hmm. And it just keeps you, it keeps pushing, just keeps pushing you harder because the little sibling, the sibling competition, you want to be better than your sister. Nah. You want to do more than what she did, and it just keeps you going. Um, something about you, I guess, maybe that, and we might have already hit on a lot of it, but how would you kind of describe yourself, uh, you know, just as, as a young guy, personality wise, stuff like that, or is there some sort of funny tidbit or, or any type of random thing about you that maybe folks don't know that would be interesting to, to kind of hear about you or the type of guy you are or anything like that? Uh, most people say that I'm quiet, but I I don't think, I don't think I'm quiet. Uh, most people think I'm quiet. I don't think I'm quiet. I think I talk too much, actually. <laughs> um, what, uh, moving forward, I know you've got some plans to, to go visit Tulane and UL and some of those schools. Uh, you've also got, you know, an off-season workload, getting ready for that senior year. What are some of the things that, that you kind of most want to work on in, in terms of getting ready for, for the next steps for you for, uh, for football? Just kind of areas to perfect or clean up or improve upon? Uh, I'm definitely going to work on everything. But I guess I want to focus on finishing through, giving 100% of the time. I think, I think that I'm my, like, I'm my biggest critic. Mm-hmm. Like, people may think I did it right, but I don't think I did it right, so I want to perfect it, and I just want to perfect everything. You go. Travis Etienne, already uh, knocking on the door of 3,000 yards as a junior, said he'd love to get that as a senior. Obviously, 
wants to do some big things in terms of team goals as well. Make sure he, he follows big sis onto that table behind us in, in Coach Phelps' office. For NOLA.com, the Thomas Picayune, Jared Roser.